Right, okay, welcome back. Here we are with the third part of Max's Sanctuary. I left you up there, showing you the views, which you can't see because of this fog. Now, this final video, I'm going to show you a little bit of the back area. These are the cages that I've caught animals in, cat and a few um, gorillas, three of them. And here is the working area that's all purely um, immersive and role-playing. It doesn't actually have a function, but this again would be a hangover from the military. They would have supplies coming in through by the river. This isn't a full-functioning port like in Spectacle Island. This is merely a little dock and stuff would be handballed off onto the dock and then up onto this conveyor and travel its way up. It would come up onto here, or again it would be handballed off. It's got cannons, they are purely for looks, but it would be neat if they would actually fire. And immersively, if oh, I would be playing this immersively, that's a neat little protection. As with the little draw, um, uh, I'll show you again in a minute, the turrets on the, on the ground, on the water. Here is the warehouse, ammunition, and armaments, the heavy armaments, you've got mini nukes, etc. coming in here, you've got maybe clothing and food comes in this side. Uh, this is a neat little idea I had. Um, I did have a full, as I said before, I tried to put a full wall around Sanctuary. These are uh, uh, left over from that, and I was, as I was taking them out, I thought, hang on a minute, well, maybe if I just put little leaf foundations in, and just stick a turret on when anything comes to attack the bridge, which is, as we discussed earlier, and the main area, as a kill box, this also suppresses them and gives them some irritating fire as they're trying to approach the bridge. So, either they come across the water and get rads and get killed in the water by the turrets, or they carry on into the kill box. This whole settlement is designed to, um, with interlocking arcs of fire, and it's designed just to kill everything at its perimeter. However, with things like, this is the Brahman one, I think I need to repair this, I'll just let one out. I'm going to do a little experiment with this and see if I repower it, if I can catch another one. Or is it one per cage? Never known that, so we'll try it. Here we have the death claw cages. I didn't like just sticking these big cages on the floor. That one fit and it works okay, but these guys seem to be half of it up in the air and so on. There's the beta room there. So I built myself a little platform with a wall behind and it works quite well. Um, as, a, as an area for dropping off the animals, it's out of the way, can't be seen as you walk around most of the settlement, it's actually quite hard to get to. And it just tucks them out of the way and it makes it look a lot neater. So if we come around the front of the dock area here, we see Paladin Dan. He is actually assigned as a sniper up there, but he's decided just to stand there in his quite beautiful X01, fully equipped, fully upgraded armour. He was my companion and probably will be again soon, but I only just picked him up. Um, haven't done much of the, the um, main quest line, as I said before, I've literally just had the prepared wind come across and had him assigned to me and I found Nick, that's pretty much just after Nick, and I'll kill Kellogg, that's as far as I've got, yeah. So here is my artillery platforms, um, obviously built some very simple droids to man them, they are literally just the Autonomatron default and I've assigned them here. They have no weapons, but they operate the artillery. Um, under construction at the moment, which is hence all the boards and things like that, I am here. We have the bar at the front, but I want to build here a nice diner. I have another mod, um, Homemaker I think it's called, where I can build a diner. And I thought it would be quite neat and exciting to try that and make a nice little diner, maybe get people eating in here. There's a secondary sort of social area to the bar. This isn't finished yet, by any means, I haven't even finished building it. Um, and I'm not sure how big I'm going to make it. I think the plan's probably going to be to bring it to this wall here, 
and move the sniper tower down there or on here in between these two um, artillery pieces. Not quite sure yet how this area is going to end up. But this is kind of the out of the way area. Um, the military would have used this for like a motor pool or something like that. I do have a vertebird um, landing platform in the mod somewhere. I'm toying with the idea of putting one of those there and I have vertebird decorations. They don't actually operate as a vertebird but you can put one there and that would be kind of neat to have your own vertebird platform in there. But that's the plan. As I mentioned earlier the clinic is poorly located and in a poor room but that was by design. I wanted it to kind of have the, f the feel of not being adequate enough. So in here I have fix these houses, there's another mod called Repair Sanctuary, I nearly said Springfield then, oh, bloody Simpsons, and this is a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So this, this one, and I think it's this one and another one across the street, no this is my old home I think, isn't it? No, but this one um, is a bit more dirty, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use this one, but that first one certainly, and one around here. Again, it's nice and clean here. Yeah, this is this one. Sorry, I do apologise. So my plan is to have one of these as a ward, have a lot of beds, um, and maybe a little station in there with somebody dressed as a doctor once I get into the institute and get some of the lab coats, etc. And have this one over here as the actual clinic with the shells and the person selling and those kinds of things, maybe intensive care in there. There's another one of the security pods. Um, this one's got three guns in it because it's covering the house. This is the housing area, I'll show you in a minute. And around here we have a point protection platform. Now, oh, the little thing, I don't know how many of you have known this. When you in Spring uh, Springfield again, it's in Sanctuary even. Um, I've played this game through to completion three times on each faction. I've probably completed it more than eight times. And the other day, I was running around in Sanctuary Building in here, and I discovered this. It's at the back of the house. There's a wire going to it, and you can go in it. If I go in there, I apologise for my load times, but I'm recording, and there we are. It's a little bunker. Um, it's there, it's vanilla, it's in the game, and in this there are a few bits and pieces you can pick up. There's some um, meds, there's some chems, there's some food, there's a bed, a few armaments. It's not great, but it's, it's a neat little thing that I never knew existed in the game. And there is a safe, let's see what's in the safe. I am really bad. I am not very good at doing a lockpick. But I have full lock picking, so they never break. So, kind of cheap. There we are. There you go. So, if you can imagine early in the game, if you've got good lock picking, or maybe you've got a droid with lock picking, or you've got one of the companions that can lock pick, so these, these are some nice little, little bits and pieces you can have. So, it's a, it's a neat little thing. I was quite impressed when I found it. Um, it's not very advertised in the game. As I say, I've completed the game quite a few times and <laughs> stumbled across it the first time. So, we are back into Sanctuary. If we follow on from where we were, so I got I get distracted very easily. I do apologise for that, and you guys have to suffer it. But here we are, more, we have more power. And this platform is literally a denial of area, area denial system. It is designed purely to back up the security pods, but on this corner where the housing is, where the settlers are going to be, I needed a bit more oomph. Really quickly, I want to discuss with you these fuse boxes. Now, these are a lovely little mod, which I've mentioned a little bit, but they are power generators. Now, they take the place of the noisy, um, smelly, spewing, horrible. Um, power generators, and they can be placed in a house, give the whole house um, power and lighting. I think 
I need to activate the repair sanctuary roofs mod. But anyway, um, distracted again, see? These come in three different flavours. They come in three, five, and ten, which are simple to put on the wall. Um, the um, materials for them are not that great. Let me show you. Here we are, power generators. As you say, we've got three copper, one gear, rubber, steel two, crystal five, nuclear material eight. So yeah, that's for the power ten. Um, power five and three are very similar. Three, that's because the hardest part of that is the crystals. Now, there is this baby here, which is a hundred power. And you can put a few of these up and max out the power quite simply. The problem with this one is, if you look three from the bottom, is you need to put a power fusion core in it. Now, if you're further in the game and you have hundreds of power cores, not going to be a problem. Early on in the game, not so much. Crystals are difficult to get hold of, we all know, but you can get them. So this is basically the last area I wanted to show you. And Again, it's a leftover from the army days. There's a, few, there's a couple of turrets there to take the entrance. And it is basically a barrack block. I need another one of these, and I will be building one at some point when I can figure out where to put it and plan it accordingly. And these are simple. They are bunk beds, which is, again is a mod. Um, interesting thing about these bunk beds, or thing to note about these bunk beds, is that they count as two beds towards your settlement totals, but settlers will only use the bottom bunk. So if you have a lot of humans, might not be the best idea, or just have them tucked away somewhere and have a lot more beds for them to sleep in. So actual sleeping, they won't sleep in the top of the bunk. So there we go, it's just literally a set of these rooms, each with a foot locker. Now, a buddy of mine tells me that if I put armour and a weapon in these foot lockers at the end of the bed, um, over time the settlers will pick that stuff up and use it. I'm not sure but I will eventually be trying that out. Again here we are, more beds. You see they're very, very efficient in its footprint, it's not a very big building but going up two floors we have almost 50 beds in there, um, 25 of which are viable. As I said before I've got 10 maybe 15 or so robots and animals and a parkour deathcore claw so I don't need all the beds robots take, do take up some of your salmon count but they don't need a bed so eventually I will have a fourth video on this sanctuary and I will run you through the last part I will leave it here um, when my diner is finished and where I finished putting the sniper tower where it's going to be and the last um, barrack block and the decoration of some of the areas I will make a last part of the video to sign this one off but for now That'll do. Take care.